Hi everyone, this is Ian Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I show you how to make a graph out of your line scale 3 logs. So I will show you uh, in the menu, you have to go to log and you have to, uh, I will clear the log memory, enter, change yes, onboard logging is on. So that's good, that's what you want. Overwrite oldest log, well, if you go over the memory of 100 recording, that may be an issue, but for me, no. Capture start trigger is a five kilogram force. It's a little bit low, but it's okay. End trigger, four kilogram force. Scan rate will put the maximum max on. Uh, Max log, I put 12 seconds, but if you go to uh, uh, that, you want the max time, for example, as a maximum, I just put one at the start there, and it, I put enter, 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 and it sets it to the max at this scan rate. That's really cool. Um, the minimum log required time, I like, uh, for example, 12 seconds here, and the pre-capture, is time before you reach that trigger of five kilograms, it will record the three seconds prior to reaching that because it probably has a temporary memory where it puts all the readings and when it uh, gets to the trigger, then it checks what was in the memory three seconds before before that's really cool and then continuous logging means at the end of one recording will it stop for will it be forced to stop or will will it be allowed to continue logging a second memory log third memory log etc and i put it continuous in my case but i will just record one I press return to exit the menu. I can short press this. You see, I got the zero there. And so I will do a one recording. So I'm ready with my harness and let's do that. So I put my carabiner here and I start one recording. So you can see here, the time is changing, 10, 9, 8. So there's one recording right there and I will stop. So it's saving to the memory. Now it's saved. And now I will just put that in my computer and create a graph. So in order to take the what's in the memory back to my computer, I need that line scale special USB key that has one normal side and one, is it micro USB key? And you go at the back of your device. So there's one that has here the memory key shown. It's called the master and I just plug it in and look what it says. I plug it in when it's open and it starts copying right away because I put the memory stick in the back. And so let's wait for that to happen. One memory log out of one is being copied, almost finished. And when it reaches the 100%, it tells you how many failed. None ever failed on me. And it tells you how many passed. Uh, always all pass in my experience. And now it says, disconnect your USB key now. That's what I'll do, disconnect. So I think you can do that while you are using the device. You can uh, copy whatever is in the memory in a stick like this to analyze. So I plug it that USB key in the computer and I will show you my screen now. 
I go in the memory stick. Okay, and the memory stick will tell you there's uh, just, this is one device folder. I just uh, click on it and that's all the dates that uh, I use the device. And inside there, there's a few tests that I've done before I've run this one for you guys. Uh, 9, 9 p.m. 40, so that's the memory I have done uh, the test on. So it's a CSV file. I drop that in Excel. And it's very, very simple. I, I will just save as an Excel file on the computer memory. All right. And now I will add a column there. Insert column. And now I will, so these are all the loads uh, that were recorded at 1280 hertz. And uh, you can see that there's a lot, 19,000 readings. And I will put time in seconds. I like to do that. So time zero is here for now. And then I put a uh, formula. Uh, I put equals one divided by 1280, which is uh, each reading's time plus that value here, the zero. And that's the time in seconds. And I double click on there. And so those are the seconds. And you can see that at the end, it's pretty much 15 seconds that was recorded in total. I can add a title and I can put that on the side there and put load, something like that. And I can select all this and I will insert a scatter here with lines. I like that. So that's, that's my graph. And here I can do all kinds of things, access title, time, oops, in seconds. load in kilograms. Um, this is test for YouTube. And that's it. You have a nice, nice graph. If I want to remove the first two seconds of data, I can go there, go down to two seconds, right there up to two seconds, press control minus, delete cells, shift up, that's it. I just deleted it and I want to delete after 12 seconds, for example, I go to 12 seconds. I just delete anything up to 12 or starting from 12. Control minus, shift cells up. There's an issue with the formulas here. I just delete them and that's it. So now you know how to make a graph out of the data recorded by this line scale three. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, click the like button and go see my website, blissclimbing.com where you'll find online courses for top rope soloing and lead rope soloing. Thank you guys.